Yeah, that started with um, the Fuckface podcast. They were trying to come up with the absolute worst player on a baseball card they could find. And Don Zimmer (laughs) was it. So all of his cards were like 32 cents on eBay. And then they said that they wanted to start collecting them. And they're like $15 now. And people have said that they go into the baseball forums, like baseball card forums, to you know track things, and people on there have no idea what the fuck is going on. They don't know why this nothing guy is just skyrocketing in price. It's crazy. And you bought three of them. Yeah, I did. I'm in the Zim Zone, baby. I kind of want some now, too. Yeah, you should get them. How, how much are they? 15 bucks? They were those were like seven or eight bucks. I think I paid sixteen for one of them. Where'd you get them? eBay. Check that out. Yeah, go to the get a ticket to the Zimmer Zone. I'll get you a Zimmer Zone T-shirt for you for Christmas. Those are a real thing. Yeah, those come in black. Rooster, no, I don't yeah. think so. Rooster he sells them. It's a fuck face shirt. It says fuck face on it. No, no. Yeah, I can get you one that says F asterisk asterisk K face on it. Would you, would you like that? I probably wouldn't wear it. I think it might be a little bit offensive. Just a little bit. Like wearing a shirt that says slut on it to they go to, to work. <laughs> oh, good old that guy. Um, They have to bleep out the name when they say it. They have to bleep out their own name on their own podcast. Who does? What are you talking about? Fuck face. They call it bleep face. Oh. Bleep face. Yeah, they have to censor their own name. Um. Yeah, this is James and Jordan talking to the internet episode seventeen. I think seventeen. Yeah. Is it? I think so. Wow. Um, we could look. We're not going to, uh, because we refuse to be correct on this podcast. Um. Oof, I'm tired. Jordan's a little tired. You just had a was it a regular whopper or was it, it was the, an impossible whopper. was that an impossible whopper. Made from plants. Yeah, those burgers are pretty good. Yeah. Um, I'm excited for them to be, you know, less money. That's not going to happen. It will eventually. I probably. don't think so. I think I'm pretty sure it's like subsidized already. Once uh, cows go away, Star Trek 6 style or whatever, with the whales, we're going to have plant-based burgers. And they're going to cost zero dollars. Because we're all going to be living on Mars. No cows on Mars. Well, you do realize that, like, right now with the price of beef, what it is, a lot of that stuff is the same price, if not cheaper. I so, haven't bought beef in a while. Why is it? Because it's like twenty ninety nine a pound. No, because I went into the grocery store today and bought eggnog, milk, cereal, and bread. Even like the shitty steaks, like <laughs> I still like, have some of that steak that. I bought when I was, uh, you know, that you recommended. I froze half of it. Yeah, that's maybe like $13.99. Whoa! What was that? Was that me? Yeah, it wasn't me. Somebody's trying to call me? I'm a professional. Um, My phone doesn't go off in the middle of podcasts. My cat has terminal breast cancer and could die at any moment, so I'm keeping my phone on me in case I get that devastating phone call. So how do you feel now? Which cat is that? Uh, Shakira. The um, Sphinx one, the one that doesn't have any fur. The singer? Uh, yeah, I named my cat after Shakira. Um, do we want to talk about the other podcast I was on today? That you had it no idea? It wants me to, recomm- uh, to like, put that fucked up video I was wanted to watch. It wants me to put it on your uh, your kitchen display. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> you better not. <laughs> Um, anyway, that's what that was. <clears throat> the Continue. other podcast I was on, I went on, I did a little bit of promotion for this pile of garbage. Um, that podcast is called, I believe, That's the World We're Living In. My buddy Logan's on it quite a bit. Um, they have, like, sponsors and stuff. They they actually, you know, have, like, a setup. They actually have a podcast. Yeah. 
they don't just no. have a pile of hot garbage that I throw together in my right. bedroom, right. typically in my underwear. Um, it was fun. I had a great time. What'd you do on it? Uh, we talked about some news, which is something that we never do on this show. Yeah, why would you? Um, because I is this require... a serious podcast. No. No. We talked about how uh, I endorse that everybody on the James and Jordan podcast would fuck the queen. I just want to throw that out there. Okay. Um, I hope that you. Agree. I spoke for you. I hope that you agree with that. Mm. Um, what else did we talk about? Talked about a bunch of shit I didn't really know anything about, like rappers and skateboarding and uh, being funny, that sort of thing. I don't know. You have to listen to the episode, I guess, when it comes out. I don't know when that is. Um, maybe Wednesday. I don't know. Um, we should talk about some things that we might be doing. Like what? Like another podcast, potentially. Yes, possibly another podcast that we're gonna be working on. Yeah, a uh, podcast that's maybe like an actual podcast. Like we might actually have a, Structure a theme to and, it, yeah. yeah. Um, we're debating, I think that what we're on right now is <laughs> shitty old yeah, movies. Really shitty movies, or old movies, or just... I feel like we should watch movies made before 1970. Not even necessarily bad movies. And just, you know, talk about older movies. Because I feel like, you know, everybody... You, every, there's like... A billion Marvel Cinematic Universe podcasts, DC podcasts, and shit like that. Nobody's talking about John Wayne or The Magnificent Seven. Well, or yeah, Butch but those Cassidy. are like what, like decent movies. John I want to watch like something that's just complete garbage, dude. Gamera, I'm telling you. Yeah, you, you know how but, original Godzilla is. Yeah, imagine a ripoff of that. <laughs> Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. Giant Space Turtle Man. Yeah. Mystery Science oh, Theater yeah, did yeah. like a whole bunch of episodes on it. Yeah. It's great. Gamera is really neat. Gamera is turtle meat. We all love you, Gamera. I think we could watch um just some really shitty movies and then we could just do a lot of research and figure out how this came to be. Like uh like we, deep dive. Like, like we watch the movie, we we review it. Mm-hmm. You know, and then, yeah, and then we... Go into the behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, know, we find why out... Why does this movie suck? No, yeah, like, where are these people coming from? Because I've always liked that stuff. <laughs> okay. Like, they did that for, um. well, there's The Disaster Artist, mm-hmm. which is about the rum. Mm-hmm. It's one of my favorite books. But they also did that um, for that movie Trolls 2, or Troll 2. It's not even a sequel, they just called it Troll 2. Have you heard of that movie? No. That's the one where the guy's like, they're eating her. And then they're going to eat me. Oh, my God. You've never seen that? No. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. Dude, it's like super. It, everyone loves this movie. It's so yeah, bad. Yeah, it sounds great. Yeah, anyway. We they, should watch Tommy O'Gill or Darby they, O'Gill and the Little People. Yeah, they, they, there's a documentary about that troll, too. And, uh, yeah, the people in that movie are, like, legitimately crazy. Like, they find these actors that were in it, and it's just, like, it's weird. Like, they're living in Bizarro Zone. Bizarro Do you know where zone? Bizarro Zone is? Are you talking about Bizarro from wacky Superman? Wacky land. No, wacky. Um, wacky, crazy people land. There was one of the, I think there were 12 issues in Grant Morrison's uh, mm-hmm. All-Star Superman, and one of them, Superman gets trapped in Bizarro World. That's a real thing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You should read that comic. It's really good. It's just the most weird, unapologetic, like... Out of it's just like a, a non continuity story, it's just its own little thing where Lex Luthor tricks Superman into going into the sun really close and then he gets like he overdoses on solar radiation and he's going to die, like he knows that he's going to die. Over do, does he get high off of that? No, he gets <clears throat> uh stronger and better powers, like he loses his weakness to kryptonite and all this stuff. It's basically, um, everybody always says it's really hard to write for Superman because how do you write for somebody who's literally indestructible and can do anything? Like, how do you create conflict in that? And Grant Morrison was like, fuck you, I'm going to take away his only weakness and make him four times as strong and still write one of the best Superman well, stories of all time. Well, his weaknesses would be his loved ones. Yeah, uh, like Lois, Lois Lane. Lane. Yeah. He, talk- yeah. he, spent- he uh, takes the time and re- like 
sequences out Lois Lane's DNA and makes a serum that can make her superpowers too. So she can like be Superman for a day for her birthday. That's dumb. Yeah. I don't and like, they, why would I read that? It's great. It's just it so sounds weird. Awful. Like, um, at one point he there's some time travel stuff involved. Um you're really not selling this to it's me. This great. Doesn't look, nah, I'm going to show sure you some of this. Great. I'm sure it's not great. It's I'm one sure of the best Superman stories of all time. Massive pile of crap. The movie's yeah. not bad either, but they have to take a bunch of stuff out for the movie, obviously. You um, know how much I don't know about Superman? Lex Luthor. What is, what is his deal? Why does he not like Superman? They explain it in that book. Um, well, I'm not going to read that book. It's so. because... It's not a very long book. Is he, sure he's you. a businessman, right? Well, his thing is, like, he's so good... Like, he's the pinnacle of human achievement, right? He's rich, he's famous, he works out, he's super buff. He's Batman. Um, but his thing is, like, everybody, he works so hard to get to where he is, and Superman just came in and had all, like, he essentially thinks that Superman was, did no work for his powers. Like, he just happened to be an alien that showed up on Earth and can do all these cool things. That's what his problem is. Yeah, with so him. he's like That's pissed off that Superman is more more well known and better liked than him. He so instead of like be being a better person, Superman. you know, he yeah. And they just said in the book where, you know, uh, Lex Luthor steals the serum and becomes superhuman for a day or whatever. And as he's losing it, he gets really mad at Superman. He's like, you know, I could have I could have saved the world if you had just let me. And Superman's like, if it had mattered to you, you could have saved the world years ago. Like, you don't care. You're just an egotistical maniac. Is he Jeff Bezos? Basically. Or is he <laughs> He's, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff Bezos went to space. So I mean, you know. So did Lex Luthor. Cool guy. He went to space. I watched the first episode of Superman and Lois today, the new CW show, relatively new CW show. I bet that sucked. It was not bad. Yeah, I think that the dude Tyler, I don't know his last name. Tyler Perry. It's not Tyler Perry. No. Um, he does a really great job as Superman. Like he he really nails that small town. I'm just a dude from Kansas vibe, but he also the guy the dude can run in a suit. Like he looks good. So he's just a small town boy. Living in a lonely world. So that song plays in the beginning. That's the opening title. Um, there's no dialogue in the movie. And well, the didn't show, Superman it's just that song? Yeah. Well, okay. So Superman, uh, kryptonites his planet, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. His parents were like, "We got to get our son out of here." They were like, they were uh, the king and queen, right? Nope. They were like gods. Nope. They were regular people. Yeah. With superhuman strength. No. I thought they were like... No, so Krypton is a planet full of people, and Jor-El <laughs> was a scientist. He was like one of the head scientists. He was like Stephen Hawking. Yeah, but didn't they like launch their... Didn't they launch and Superman he when he was a baby like into, the, into Earth? was saying, look, Krypton's going to blow up. Um, we need to get off the planet. I've built a prototype rocket to show that it can be done. You know, let's build a big one. Or, you know, we don't have time, let's put everybody in the Phantom Zone, which that's a whole other thing that I don't feel like explaining. It's a whole other dimension thing where they put prisoners. He says, you know, let's put everybody in the Phantom Zone, put one person in the rocket, rocket takes off, when they get to wherever, just let everybody out. And the whole council of dickheads is like, nah, Krypton's fine, fake news. Um, Not real, China invented earthquakes or whatever and he's like okay fuck you as the planet's imploding Crumbling, or whatever right um he launches his son because he can't fit more than one person and and his son who's maybe not even like a foot tall at this point yeah a couple and they can't months fit another old. person in there well like life this was the spaceship oh what you... and so he... this was an this was an inf- this was a tiny tiny spaceship that, yeah, it was pretty that, small. If I heard and you then correct, he they even were all says, trying to fit into it. Well, you put one person in it with um everybody else in the phantom zone. Oh. Oh, and then you drag it. Oh, yeah. okay. And then he even in the cartoon, 
they he says to his wife Laura, he's like, hey, you know, if I do some modifications really quick, I can probably fit you in there too, and you can go with him. And she refuses. She wants to stay with her husband and die because she's a dumbass. Um, would you choose your spouse or your kid? Well, I mean, you kind of have to kick, pick your kid to live or to stay with you. To yeah, so um. One's, one of them's going to die, but you get to choose. You choose your kid over your wife. I guess. He tried to choose them both, but the wife was like, fuck you, and essentially shot herself in the head. So she's kind of a bad person, too. No, she wanted to stay with her husband. And not make sure that their child is... Well, her going would decrease the chances. Oh. But really, she just didn't want to have to deal with that, that kid. Is what it she didn't want to be a single mom? Yeah. Um, it's I rough guess, on Earth, yeah. you know, being a single parent. And then because Krypton had like 50 times the gravity of Earth and was in a red uh, orbit around a red sun, when he gets here, for some reason, he can... He, that explains like how, why That's he's why super he can strong, fly. but yeah. it doesn't really explain anything else. That's what they <laughs> use to explain why he's super strong. Yeah. That's li- that's it. I watched a really funny thing. The Warner Brothers does this thing where every so often they'll put out like a little documentary, probably from several years ago, but they'll put it out on YouTube. It's like they did one for all the Batmobiles and talking about how Tim Burton wanted to do his and how um, Joel Schumacher ruined Batman. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. And then Christopher Nolan came in and was like, we're going to do something awesome we're gonna fix this um and how they all designed their batmobiles and how the adam west batmobile came together and all this stuff and they did one on superman and like trying to explain superman's powers through science and a lot of it was like you know well if you could focus light through your eyes like a lens then you know i guess you could do laser (laughs) vision and all this stuff and you know and then it got to flying they're like well, if you could manipulate gravity and do this and, you know, do that, and we broke a couple laws you, of physics. Were they serious when they were saying this? Yeah, they were, like, trying to explain, like, how Superman w- could work in the real world, and I, I was are just they sitting there. idiots? And or... I was like, you guys are trying too hard. Just accept that the dude can fly. Can fly? I just, you know, like, we don't have to sit here and try to justify it. It's a fucking cartoon. <laughs> yeah, I always hated that when people were like, Oh, I'm just not believing this this movie could actually happen. And it's like... I don't it's a, want it's a, it to happen. Yeah, like it's a movie. What are you talking about? I don't want to go see a depressing ass movie about a dude living a regular life like me. That shit sucks. I want to see a dude fly through a building. Can you Let's imagine go. they just make it like, okay, the most realistic Superman ever. And he's just like sees a crime and he runs into a phone booth, takes his clothes off and he's got that outfit on. But that's it. That's all he's got. So <laughs> he he's walks just out that. and somebody immediately yeah. punches him in the face. Yeah, really. I mean, he's just wearing that, running off to try and fight crime, but he's got no powers. Yeah. You would can't you, really Would do you want to watch? I actually would probably pay money to see that. <laughs> it's just a 15-minute movie. It's just him getting the shit, like, kicked out of him by, like, mobsters. And I mean, that was basically kick-ass, right? Sort Well, he kind of... His powers in that movie, he gets in, like, an accident, and then he has, like, no feeling. Kick ass? Yeah. Have you seen that movie? Yes. Yeah. He has a whole bunch of messed up nerve endings, so he doesn't feel pain as much. I think we're remembering different movies. No, it's the one where he buys the diving suit online, and that's his outfit. He doesn't get into an accident. He has messed up, like, nerve endings. I don't think so. And he doesn't feel as much pain. I don't think so. Yeah, rewatch it. Okay, I will. It's a good movie. You don't remember the scene where he's taped down with uh, Nicolas Cage? That was at the end of the movie. Yeah, they're like tied down and he's getting hit. And then he's like, even with all my fucked up nerve endings, like that hurt. Uh, I don't remember that. Right, well, we should rewatch. That. It's a good movie. movie. <laughs> um, Nicolas Nic- Cage is in it. One of Nicolas Cage's better roles. <laughs> yeah, he's Nicolas Cage's Adam West in that movie. <laughs> Na- National Treasure. No. Um, Bangkok Danger. <laughs> Bangkok Dangerous, fantastic, phenomenal movie. Uh, Sorcerer's Apprentice. You gotta watch uh, Willy's Wonderland. I, you I gotta don't want to watch, watch Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's, but he kicks the shit <laughs> out of all of them. 
Um, they're like, I'm gonna fucking kill you! <laughs> and he just, like, beats the shit out of them. And then just goes back to cleaning. It's a good movie. Yeah, I can imagine. He doesn't, not a single line in that at all. And they set it up for a sequel. Can't wait. I'm excited. <laughs> um, we should also watch Brightburn. Have you seen that? No, but I wanted to. Yeah. But have you seen it? No, that looks interesting, though. Yeah, it's like an evil Superman. Uh, maybe we'll cover it on our new podcast, potentially, once we come up with a name. Oh, I, I don't think that's a bad movie. I never said, I just said older movies, and I guess it's not an older Bright movie. Burn? Because it came out, like, four years ago. Yeah. Um, well, why don't we just limit it to nothing and just watch movies? Just movies. Yeah. Movies. TV. Books. Poems. I think we should just sling around. I think the main thing is it's definitely going to have to be something with movies. Movies and TV. Because that's all we really would know anything about. That's correct. We don't know anything about video games. Uh, I know stuff about video games. Not enough to do a podcast on it. I mean, I watch the gameplay and all the behind-the-scenes stuff. I just don't own a game system. <laughs> I, d- dude, how they make video games? Cool. Yeah, it's interesting. Cool. I like it. Um, we can talk about that later, though, because this is it's gonna be like two weeks before this goes up. Um, what else can we talk about? I'm about. I just started season two of Game of Thrones. Yeah, that's kind of like a porno. There's a lot of boobs. Has anyone? Yeah, has there been an orgy yet? Several several mm. how many episodes in of season two i'm on like episode oh, so four you, okay so do you watch season one yeah. yeah i've watched up through like midway through season three um but then i bought them all on 4k and now i'm watching them you know not compressed as shit on hulu keep messing up with your microphone man i don't know it's swinging around um yeah the only thing of is that the name of the song? Yeah. Some spinning around, but... You got me burning. You we can't do that burning. for a second podcast in a row. No, we'll just... I, named the, I named the one that we did the other day. Give it to me now. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were going to say you got me burning. <laughs> no. That's what I'm going to name this one. <laughs> That's so fucking dumb. Give it to me now. It doesn't even sound like <laughs> we, ours. We, we went on for like half an hour. <laughs> It was just, it was so your bad shoes, listening your to boots, it. Your boots, your motorcycle. Give it to me now. Give it to me now. Um, we we should thing. watch <laughs> all of the Terminator movies. Okay, <laughs> I think we'll, we were talking about Game of Thrones <laughs> at the first second. We were, and okay. then and now I we're kinda... on to Terminator. We're back. Five, six movies. Yeah, we're is there back. six of them? Yeah, There's... there was one that you. That I didn't even, I don't even think I saw it. I don't, there's Salvation. The Terminator, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines, Terminator Salvation, Terminator. Only three out of those are decent movies. Terminator, what's the fifth one called? Genesis. Genesis, thank you. Terminator Dark Fate. And then we can watch the Sarah Connor Chronicles. No. And Terminator 2 3D Ride. From the mid '90s, at Universal Studios or whatever theme park that was. What do you think James Cameron's doing right now? Uh, Being fucking. I don't know how many hookers can he fit into his mansion. He's happily married. Yeah, he's got a wife. His wife works with him. So did Harrison Ford. Well, that's Harrison Ford. (laughs) I think there's a different. mm, Well, I don't know. (laughs) I mean, he's an actor. I heard a thing that uh, the reason James Cameron likes to fuck with like an avatar and then an Alita battle angel, why the eyes are always weird, is because he doesn't know what human eyes look like because no one's ever looked him in the eye <laughs> since 1992. <laughs> what eyes look weird in Avatar? Just like the weird there are lizard blue, people. blue people eyes. Yeah, what are they called again? Navi. The Navi. It's bad that I know the name of that yeah. and you don't because you you're just say, a proponent for that movie and you think that it's a decent movie and I say that it's bad because it's forgettable and you couldn't remember what the main people were called. It's not forgettable. 
<laughs> Name it's... three characters from that movie. No, and I think I made my point very clear the last time we had this conversation is that it's uh, it's, it's a breakthrough visually. Yes. What they were able to do in that movie. I agree. That's why it's not forgettable. The story is Garbage. just Pocahontas in space. Uh, I would say Fern Gully, but... It's Pocahontas in space. Fern Gully. But uh, no, it, go up to anybody and be like, you seen that movie Avatar? Like, they're going to say yes. Okay, name one character from Avatar. Jake Sully. Name two characters. <laughs> what was his girlfriend's name? Zoe Saldana. <laughs> Are you serious? That is the actress's name. No. Uh, Sigourney Weaver. <laughs> Sigourney Weiner, thank you very much. Sigourney Weaver's in it. Um, your favorite actor? Yeah. Uh... Scarface guy. What Scarface guy? The guy with the scar on his face. The military guy. Oh, yeah. He's also in... He's got uh, the robot with the big knife. Yeah, he's in a Don't Breathe. Sure. Horror movie. Um, And then have you seen Alita, Alita Battle Angel? No. That movie is <laughs> visually stunning. I bet it's visually crap compared to Avatar. Probably not. <laughs> um, Seeing as it came out like 10 years after. Um, but I figured, like, when I was watching it... Avatar so, came out in 2009, right? Yeah. This came out, like, 2018, 2019. What is it called? Alita Battle Angel. It's based on a manga that was also an anime. Is it manga or manga? I think it's manga. I think it's manga. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> um, and... It's about, like, a, ro a robot lady with a human brain, and Christoph Waltz saves it. Send me a link to the trailer um, later. And, like, when you look at it, you're like, okay, obviously her eyes are CGI, because she's got big eyes. Wait and a minute. Then, I think I know what you're talking about. Probably. And then she's got robot arms. And you, and you look at that, and you're like, okay. So they replaced her arms, and they messed with her eyes. And the entire time you're watching the movie, you're like, okay, yeah. Everything looks totally real, except for, obviously, her eyes. And her robot arms look good at, for CGI, but it's, like, obviously not real. And then I found out that her, she's 100% CGI. Like, it wasn't like they had the actress <laughs> and they just made her eyes bigger. This is just a full CGI character. So the actress is just wearing one of those ping pong ball ping suits pong with the camera suits. in front of the mouth. Ping pong ball suit. And it just, it broke my brain. Like, it looks so good. Even her clothes and stuff look great. It was, it blew my mind. Okay. <clears throat> I bet I can name the entire cast of Avatar right now. <laughs> we got Jake Sully. Jake Sully. Uh, Natiri. Natiri. Dr. Grace Austin. Yeah, was that Sigourney Weaver? Yeah. <laughs> Grace. <laughs> uh, Trudy Chacon? Trudy Beekman? That was, uh, Michelle Rodriguez. Oh, yeah, she was the badass pilot who yeah. turned on their side. I didn't sign up for this shit. We should like, watch Can you movie? do that? I haven't seen that movie in a while. Oh, it's uh, Colonel Miles Carrich. Yep. Why do they give them last names? They don't use their last names. Do they? I don't know. Maybe there is some... Maybe it's just to oh, distinguish yep. them. Parker Selfridge. Whose first name is Parker? That's stupid. Parker! Uh, and then Norm... Is the other kind of norm the other avatar guy that was with him? There's a uh, Moat. That's the uh, this woman's name is CCH Pounder. <laughs> <laughs> like I shit you not. Look at that. How is that a name? I know. I know who that is. CCH Pounder. I recognize that. <laughs> I like it. She yeah, and then it's start just a burger a, chain. And then it's just a bunch of the other. Um, well, these aren't even like I I don't know the blue people. I Tukan, one of them's name is I Tukan. How are you gonna remember that? They probably don't even say it in the movie. I mean, 
it's not like it's not like people like sometimes like they don't say the names of the people in the movie throughout the movie like you know like it, it, what you gonna hear me out on this i think that i can name <clears throat> every single person in the movie ghostbusters yeah okay well like because it's a memorable okay. movie well no i mean like you know some movies like like an alien mm-hmm. they'll be like god damn it ripley yeah when I give you an order, you're supposed to, you know, but he, like, he didn't have to say Ripley in that. He could have just been like, God damn it, when I give you an order, you know? But they don't. They say their names throughout that entire movie. So maybe in Avatar, they're just not mentioned. They're not like, damn it, Grace, or son of a bitch, Jake Sully. I think that there are several <laughs> scenes where they talk, they mention their I bet names. you they don't ever say their names at all in that entire movie. How much you want to bet? <laughs> okay, right off the bat, I bet they introduce a character and like, this is Jake Sully, basically. And then... Everybody, you only hear their name once, and I bet you like. What, what I'm saying is like they'll they'll be like, hey, because there's an introduction scene, you know, where they're like, hey, my name's. I get what you're Kata. saying. I just think that it, you're wrong. No, I bet you like through their n- normal dialogue throughout the movie, they probably like they don't even mention names. We can solve this after. <laughs> I'm gonna look up a script and I'm gonna search for the word Jake. You can just. How are you gonna get the script of Avatar? Just look up Avatar script. And the whole script's just gonna pop up. Yeah. The original one that James <laughs> yes. Cameron wrote. <laughs> now, do you think James Cameron, did he, do you think he uses pen and pencil, or does he uh, use a laptop? I think he uses, like, VR. I think he's, I think he's in the Matrix. World. I think I he's he, in the Matrix. He's the guy who's eating the steak, and he's like... I, I know the steak easy. isn't real. And he's like, I want to I wanna be something easy, like an actor. So, you know, somebody oh, rich, Nothing. somebody famous. That would be so good. It broke my brain for a little bit. I was watching uh, The Fugitive. Great fucking movie. If you haven't seen it, you should watch it. With uh, Tommy Lee. Tommy Lee Jones. Harrison Ford. It's great. It's a, it's a really fucking good movie. Um, But in that, one of Tommy Lee Jones is like the head for the whatever FBI, CIA people searching for Harrison Ford and one of his like detectives under him I I was you know watching like halfway through the movie I was like I know this fucking guy who the fuck is it it was Cypher from the Matrix which one's Cypher he's the state guy oh and it took me forever to figure it out um but yeah, The Fugitive is a really good movie. I also watched the second and third Matrix movies, finally. Um, In uh, preparation yeah. for the new one, right? Yeah. It's probably not going to be very good. Well, the last two weren't great. Um, I believe you told I me to give the, them a chance. The second one's not bad. It's pretty not great. With the French guy? Yeah. In his BDSM nightclub? I'm not a fan of the orgasm cake. Why? It's just weird. <laughs> like, I don't... Why? And then his wife or whoever is like, kiss me. So I know yeah. what love feels like. That's weird. Why is that weird? It's just weird. They're French. And then... The French do stuff like that. They're, yeah. they're very weird people. And then the effects heard. aren't as good. As the first one. And then... <laughs> if I was in the Matrix, I'd be at that French's guy's nightclub every night. It's just... Totally partying. It's too much. <clears throat> yeah, it's ridiculous. It's the Matrix. There's too much going on. Like, the first one, the concept is a little weird, but you can wrap your head around it pretty quickly. Yeah. And then it's just kind of... You're not going to make a better movie than, like, the original Matrix. A story like, within... Like, sequel's not going to, like, cut it. But they're not... I wouldn't say they're bad movies. They're not the worst. But they're not good. They're just meh. They're like the original, um... Matrix. Where it was too happy. Yeah. People needed to suffer in order to be convinced that... People are real. a disease. Mr. Anderson. Mr. Anderson. Also, I was right. Um, Agent Smith downloaded himself into the real world. 
I don't understand how you can do that. I don't either, but he did, and then he electrocuted Neo's eyes. Yeah, I gotta rewatch those. They're, yeah, they're fine. They're okay. He got, like, disconnected from the Matrix while he was still in the Matrix, though. He was like a, he was like an outdated system. Right? There's also Remember some... when he's like, I'm not plugged in? Yeah. Yeah. And he, give, he gives them the earpiece through the thing at their little secret meeting in the Matrix. When Morpheus and Naobi and all those people are meeting. And then well, somebody... When they take the helicopter and they shoot the floor out? No. This is at the beginning of the second one, I think. Oh, on the second one. Yeah. Oh, when there's a knock remember. at the door and hands him... Like, one of the security guys is like, what do you want? He's like, you know, give this to me. And he's like, I don't know who you're talking about. It's like, yeah, whatever, give it to him and tell him thank you for setting me free or whatever. And he owns it, and it's the earpiece. And then Neo looks up, and he's like, they're agents. We need to leave. And then he just fights a bunch of... He punches one guy or whatever. And he's like, oh, upgrades. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's a... Uh... <laughs> It's the Matrix sequels. <laughs> All right, name three characters from the Matrix. From the original Matrix? Yeah. Trinity, Morpheus, Mouse, Neo, Agent Smith, the Oracle. <laughs> I said three. I can keep going. Name three characters from Alien. Alien? Yeah. Ripley. Hicks. No, I said Alien. Oh, original Alien? Yeah. Ripley, Ash. Uh... The chick who slaps the corner. Lambert. <laughs> Lambert. <laughs> um, the alien. <laughs> the xenomorph. The cat. <laughs> the cat's name? Jonesy. 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 I would have left that I cat. I would have been gone. <laughs> I'm out of there. Fuck that cat. Like before it was even like, we'll take our chances in the shuttle. You I would have killed that shuttle. cat before the alien showed up. I would have killed the alien. How hard is that? How hard is it to kill that thing? Just they shoot split it. up. Gun. Bang, bang. Everyone sticks together. Eventually, he's going to come after you. Yeah, just that's what sit he does. in that room. Yeah, he's going to come right through the door. Or there are like he's three doors. Freaking blown pieces. Just sit in the mother room. And then like, well, his ass is eating away the floor. Leave. Get, yeah, get in the escape pod. And then maybe you can come back knowing that he's dead. And maybe it didn't go all the way through the ship. You still have your cargo. They land. Scorny Weaver doesn't have to find out that her 60-something-year-old daughter is dead. Could she still be a little girl? I think that might be in a deleted scene. Oh, for the, what, the director's cut? Mm. Oh. I don't think that's in the theatrical cut of the movie. Not a bad scene. It's not. But it was cover time, I think. Well, it also, would like... It doesn't really doesn't add do anything. Any, yeah, it adds absolutely yeah. nothing to it. just the... sort of story building. <clears throat> I think that whole her sitting in the fake park thing is not in... Or most of it's not in the theatrical version. No. Well, I mean, it sort of like shows that she's like, Trying was to a mom. On, yeah. Well, no, because then she sort of becomes like a motherly figure too. Yeah, but you don't really need it. I can Indeed. see. I can see why they cut it, but I think that it is fine in the movie. It's a good movie. Both of them are good movies. Yeah. You haven't seen the other ones. Nope. You should watch them. I'm um, like the Matrix sequels i will never watch the alien sequels why i just there's come on the third one basically the same thing happens but they go to a jail planet yeah i've heard you've yeah. described it multiple times and then the fourth one they clone her with yep. the alien. yeah they do a thing with the basketball yeah she throws a basketball she actually made that shot too. yeah and they had to uh Cut immediately after because everybody <clears throat> freaked the fuck out because they'd been doing it for like three days. Like Tobey Maguire catching all that stuff on his tray. Spider-Man 1. That was all legit. But how was that legit? It, they threw a bunch of they just threw a bunch of stuff up and it was all sticky and he caught it on that tray. <laughs> really? Yeah. They had to do it like 150 times. <laughs> Doesn't he catch everything so it's like perfectly on the tray? Mm hmm. And in 2001, they couldn't have CGI'd that. I'm sure they could have, but it would have looked bad. <laughs> That'd be so dumb if it just went to like 
the like basically the first Scooby Doo level of animation, but it's just food products. People have said that Tobey Maguire was difficult to work with on those movies, and somebody was like, "Yeah, you made him wave a fucking tray around in the air a hundred and twenty times before you could go home that day. I'd be pissed off too." I mean, you think they could have it so they he just like throws stuff up and then they just like reverse it. Yeah, there are multiple solutions to that problem. But none of them are going to look as good. I mean, in RoboCop, when one of the most difficult scenes to shoot in that movie was when the chief of police or whatever throws the keys and RoboCop catches them out of the air because they just kept bouncing off of his rubber palm. They had to do it like 127 times. <laughs> Maybe just get him a new costume. Put a magnet like, in it. Could he not even like hold, like make a fist? I mean, he could, but he wasn't like... They'd, he would have to close it before they touched your palm. Yeah, that's not hard. Otherwise, they'd bounce off. When you can't see and you're in that stupid helmet, I imagine it's a little bit more difficult. Um, I would have just put a magnet. I feel like that would have solved most of the problems. No. Magnet. Magnets solve everything, man. Um, what else can we talk about? Are you I, hearing music or am I crazy? I think you might be crazy. <clears throat> Headphones are off. Investigating. Do you hear it still? I don't know. Yeah, but it's one of those weird things where like sometimes I'll listen to like bands and stuff going on and then I'll just like hear music in it. You're like Jodie Foster in Contact. Am I? Yeah. She would look at static to try and see uh, patterns. <laughs> and people called her crazy and they lost all their funding. <laughs> so I shouldn't tell people that ever again. Yeah, you'll lose your SETI research funding. <laughs> Contact's a good movie. We should watch Contact. No. It was, so what it is is like, I can't remember what it's called, but um, it's... There's no singing in it, but all the notes are lined up in a way where you recognize it as being like a human voice. You I'm, never heard those songs? No, I'm giving you a blank stare because I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Okay, it's there's no singing. Uh huh. These songs will just take like notes mm -hmm. of like what somebody would be singing. Yep. And your brain just fills it in, so you're hearing somebody sing, but there's nobody singing. Okay. You've never seen this? No. I can't remember what it's called. You would think it was cool. But I, I think it's sort of like cool. that. Yeah. It's like how... It legit sounds like somebody's singing through a song and no one's, no one's singing. If you take a black and white photo and then overlay a grid on that, that's colored. Like, multiple colors where things would be. Yeah, Your brain will fill it in and it'll look like a colored photograph. Wait, say that again? So you have a black and white photo. Yeah. And you overlay a grid. And if somebody's wearing a blue shirt, Theoretically, you color that part of the grid blue, like just the lines, and then over their faces, you make them sort of skin colored. Yeah. And then, you know, on the ground, kind of green. Just your, the grid. Your brain will fill in the rest of the photo as colored. That's cool. Yeah. Human brains are pretty dumb. Are they? Yeah. Get fooled easily. Look at the matrix. I don't think uh, I don't think the human brain is dumb. I do. Why? Just because it can be so easily fooled. Yeah. So what? So it's dumb. It could be so much better. It could not be stupid based on evolution. Well, yeah. It could be based on science. The perfect human. You've seen the people that shop at the store I work at. A perfect grace. Those are, those are real people. Yeah. People are actually like that. Yeah, I know. There's a, a woman who comes in dressed like a cat. Thinks she's a cat. Oh, Dennis's wife? For real, though. This Maureen is, this is Yeah, this is a real person, though. She, like, licks the seafood case. I haven't seen her yet. I just heard all about her. I was like, what the hell? That sounds amazing. I can't wait to meet this woman. She's probably your future wife. No. No, 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 no. You can throw her off the roof. 
I would probably kill her. <laughs> you can have a, uh, sit in the interrogation room motionless somebody, for five hours or whatever I was telling somebody at the other store about that, and he was like, that's when you just go, like, or about how the, that cat woman comes in, and he's like, that's when you just gotta be like, raw, 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 raw. <laughs> <coughs> Ugh. Jordan's dying. <laughs> <laughs> My throat hurts. Um, stop sucking someone's dick. Never. Right or die. <laughs> uh, what else is there to talk about? Not a whole lot. Um, Wendy's got new French fries. That's pretty cool. You refuse to eat Wendy's because you hate uh good food. Um. Are you talking about how we're probably going to start a new podcast? We haven't thought of a name or anything like that yet. Uh, yeah, no, that's pretty much it. I get nothing. I, I wanted to do more uh, video game videos like we did with Five Nights. Duh. Yeah, I think we should get like actual scary games though. Do you seem pretty scared by Five Nights? Yeah, but then it's just like you can't run. You can't do anything. Um, it's like it's scary the first time, and then nothing happens. Yeah, we could you could play through Doom, play the Doom. first remake. You could. I've already played through it. Never I haven't played, played through the second one. Ugh. That mo- oh that my god! Video game is fun. Yeah, I got up early. Um, yeah. So uh, this has been it. Yeah. Um, go check me out on that other podcast. That's the world we're living in. Will Jordan be on an episode of that sometime? Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? They record on Sundays. Oh, yeah. Really? Um, This has been fun. Uh, Tell all your friends about us. Tell anyone you you really don't like. Um, You? Well, you can't tell me about it. I already know about it. Yeah. Um, But you could tell, like, an ex-girlfriend... Um, Jordan has resorted to plucking the strings on the microphone stand, so I'm going to go ahead and give this the old, it's the T-Rex from Jurassic Park playing the Jaws theme. Uh, I'm going to end the podcast now.